All right, so uh, welcome back everyone to another video. Uh, this is the face of, I guess, a lot of you have been waiting for. Uh, quite weird to record myself, and the annoying thing is, I just spent half an hour doing this video, and it, it the audio just messed up. Uh, I think the quality of the camera is quite bad, so we're going to scale it down a bit. Uh, you got to see what I look like, and uh, yeah, I am ginger. I'm not sure if you can see that. The lighting's a bit messed. Uh, let me just move the camera a bit. Uh, so yeah, this is the base of I guess what everyone's waiting for. In the background now, I'm probably going to throw in some random clips. Not really sure yet. Uh, but also, we're going to be doing a Q&A. And also, um, a little desk tour. I guess you can kind of see the RGB come from my face. Uh, the room is kind of a mess. I mean, like, not a mess, but it's kind of a bad backdrop, I think. Uh, but to be fair, it don't look too bad now. Um, definitely be going to be using a mic or like a face cam in the future. Uh, for Grand Cross, I'm going to be doing like summer videos or kind of important videos. Definitely worth doing. Uh, for South Park, maybe Team Wars. It wouldn't be bad to use a Team Wars uh, video each week. Uh, Battle Pass openings would be good to do. But, uh, I mean, I can't, I'm kind of going to go over a video on that separately. But... Not really enjoying the battle pass, not gonna lie to you. Uh, so one thing too, I, I guess I asked it multiple times, uh, I, well, I said multiple times, sorry, is you could find what I look like. And the reason why I said that is because in my actual channel box, I do have a, uh, a guy called Aaron Arrow, Aaron Yero, I hate saying his name, uh, that is literally my twin brother. And you can go look, watch his videos and see the comparison between us two. And uh, that's what I meant by you can kind of go see what I look like. Even though I'm not on his channel or like, you know, you don't see me in it, uh, you can kind of see what well, you could have kind of got that. Plus, I think for the longest time, especially on my, my old videos, I kind of wore ginger hair. Um, yeah, it don't look, it don't, it's kind of dark, not gonna lie. The, 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 dark, the room's kind of dark. The room's bad. Like, it's the backdrop's horrible. So maybe I would like to get a green screen, but I'd be hard, not gonna lie to you. All right, so the video took half an hour, half an hour to actually record. So we're gonna get straight into things. Um, so let's uh, do the Q&A. Okay, so the video's right here. So I'm reading the screen, so I'm not gonna look dead in the eye. I try and do it too, but it's, it's kind of a bit weird, especially since it's my first time. I'm uh, gonna have to go through it really quick, so I'm not gonna actually read people's names because it's a bit too long. Uh, but... You know, thank you for leaving comments because it would be a bit awkward. So, uh, okay, this, I'm, I'm going to edit it really quick so it, it's not too long. Do you have a Viking beard? I really feel like you do. Uh, no, I don't, but um, I can grow one. I guess I'm, I'm Irish, so it, it kind of runs in the genes. Uh, how many in-game hours do you have? Not oh, a lot, actually. I guess I've been playing for two and a half years now, so probably around a couple thousand. What's your opinion? What's the top three tiers of best card sets? Uh, if you mean that, I guess you mean like the best three cards. Probably DSR, DAR, and Garrison, which Garrison is naughty. Uh, where do you see your channel in one year? Hoping to reach a subscriber goal or anything like that. Uh, well, to be fair, uh, I've just started doing like uh, daily uploads like the last two, three months now. And the channel has like doubled, almost tripled its subs. It took me about a year to get uh, 1k subs and, uh, and then another year to get 2k subs. And then now in just two months, I've passed what I've done in a year. And rightfully so, right? I'm continuing to grow in. Uh, more people are coming into the channel and uh, I'm putting more content out. That's one thing, by the way. I've, a lot of you have, might have asked me this, I think, privately. How do you start a channel? Uh, just upload daily videos, man. It, it helps so much. It's actually unreal. Uh, I love your videos. And who is your favorite card for each theme? Uh, okay, so Adventure. Uh, In King Craig. Probably. I don't really use Adventure. I think maybe Inking Craig. Neutral, Hanky. Sci fi. Uh, I really hate sci fi. <laughs> Bounty Hunter Cow. Probably. Uh, Mystical. Oh, yeah. DAR, obviously. Uh, Fantasy. Probably CK Ike. Uh, Superheroes. Uh, Mysterion, which is probably my favorite card in the whole game. And did I forget one? Oh, I didn't. Sci-fi mystical adventure. Okay, I, I, if I forgot one, I just <laughs> allow it. Uh, what non-MOBA games do you play? Uh, I'm sure you saw a lot of actual South Park content creators doing this, but uh, I I am playing Fall Guys right now. Uh, other than that, I did just build a PC, which you, I'll show you later on. Uh, and I kind of just Overwatch. Uh, kind of play that, but bear in mind I do do two videos a day, and you know making content, edit videos, kind of time consuming, and uh, I normally spend most of my day making two videos. At night, probably playing a bit of Fall Guys right now. 
probably kind of the the motive from like now on forth. Uh, are you ever going to do rare giveaways? Because I'm trying to get on Lock Elven King Bradley. Uh, well, that was three weeks ago, so you probably already had him. Uh, we, I think I can give away 10 rares, but would you really want 10 rares over three epics? I don't know. I guess if it's a new rare card, I can do that. Okay, uh, who is one of the cards you'd love to see as neutral? Uh, I guess if we're going to talk about the characters in the actual show coming to the game, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a strong woman. Strong woman, I kind of expected to come out last season when the season was coming up. And I think Strong Woman with like her actual kit could be another like a pretty decent neutral card to go with a PC principle. Uh, but if we're gonna, I said this in my other well when I recorded last time. Um, to answer another question that's not really related to this, well, I mean it's related, but it's not the same question. Uh, if the question is, what what card would you like to see in another theme? I would love to see Gizmo Ike in in superheroes because if you don't know. Uh, Kuhn does get boosted up per superhero that's on the field, and imagine Gizmo Ike in a superhero theme. Like, having like seven Gizmo Ikes will give the Kuhn 350 attack. Uh, like, you can have you can have up to 700k, 700 attack, or 1k attack. Like, that's just nuts. If you could have any max level 7 card, who would you pick? Uh, Gizmo, no, CK Ike, Canadian Ike. I'm kind of requesting him to level 7. He's kind of close, so I would like him. Uh, question, uh, question, why do you make YouTube? Uh, I done YouTube twice now. This is like the first committed one I've done and actually spoke on. The first one was like, you know, when I was like 15, just uploading COD gameplay. Uh, the second was like actual animation clips, which, uh, I got featured on KYR Speedy's channel. I'm not going to show you what the animation was because I'm kind of embarrassed of it. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we make moves. And, um, this is the other channel I made, which is, uh, the third one. And I, I've kind of actually gone ham on it, right? I've, I've uploaded daily. I've actually spoken it. Now I'm showing my face. So this is, yeah, this is, uh, oh, why do I make YouTube, I should say. Uh, well, I was in uni and I saw that Don Steve or It's Just Bug upload a fan asset pack. And, uh, obviously I've been doing like Photoshop or like photo video editing, photo editing since I was like, what, like 11, uh, 10 years now. And, uh, I saw all the assets. I saw all the, the little stuff you could make. And I'm like, you know, this is kind of sick. Let me, uh. You can see my thumbnails. My thumbnails are kind of decent. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much why I did it. I saw the fan asset pack. Which, by the way, the pandemic are making a new one. So, if you're doing content creating for South Park, it'd be pretty good to download that if they do release it. If they release it publicly, I think they might just do it privately. Uh, Razor, I guess Razor Kev's asked, uh, what is the worst epic card? Worst epic card is probably Swashbuckler Red. Just, I mean, it works, but it's, it's kind of trash. Or, uh, Program Stan, he's kind of bad too. What's your preferred theme and why my preferred theme and uh it's yeah it's superheroes it's it's superheroes i mean it's based on the show probably my one of my favorite episodes like during the series was with the superhero card so well superheroes not the cards what's the most annoying card in game to counter slash defeat uh well yeah i mean obviously it's it's mamba pig right it's a guy takes like the whole team to take out and then he brings him back with an actual uh, poke to me is a bit much too much to be honest uh so this is kind of funny what do you think the next bradley will be uh well i think it's gonna be frontier bradley because he now just got revealed uh i did say in yesterday's video about it uh what well, yeah yesterday video is um what the next bradley could be uh will be is uh mystical and mystical has to be boosting up tanks so we do, we just got a card that boosts up uh what's it assassins fighters range units the only ones left is actually tanks so safe to say when mystical does come for bradley uh they will be boosting up tanks do you think they're going to add goth kits and what do you think they'll do? Uh, they are because they've been leaked, so they're going to come eventually. Uh, probably going to be neutral, not its own theme. And then uh, for what they can do, I have no idea. Uh, something, that, well, what? There'll be assassin fire range and probably a, a tank. Uh, Henriel, is that a name? She'll probably be a tank. Uh, so probably slowness, uh, power seal, uh, damage somehow, I don't know. Uh, what is your first and favorite legendary? My first legendary was probably Mamba Pig or Grand Wizard Cartman. Uh, that's pretty much the ones you unlocked quite early on. Uh, favorite legendary is definitely Mysterion. Just a sick card. Uh, do you have any pets? I have one pet. It's a cat and her name is Tilly. What is it like being a legendary now? Uh, it's fine. I guess I'm not really sure. Uh, nothing really changed. You kind of just, when you're playing the game, you kind of just play as the rank you're actually supposed to be at. Doesn't really matter what rank you are because you're supposed to be there. The only difference is being Legend Arena is that you get some bonus perks. I think you get double lockers. I'm not sure if everyone else gets that. Or I think, the, but no, the chance is higher, right? I think it's 35 max in Legend Arena. Plus, uh, being in Legend Arena, you get, uh, when you open the battle pass, you have, uh, like, opening packs. There's just a lot better chances. And also, you get an end of season pack, so that's always good. Uh, do you think they'll add one or, one or more legendaries? Yes, they're good. probably going to add one more legendary to each theme again. Basically making fourth uh, legendaries for each theme. And uh, we might actually finally get an actual Butters. 
uh, card. Uh, what is your favorite battle pass? Probably uh, the Professor Chaos one, but maybe the Visitors one, because the Visitors one was the first time they actually released Visitors globally, I should say. Uh, I think I was like one of five people in the whole game that had level five Visitors before they actually like you know got released to everywhere. Uh, they're kind of rare, or if you spent money. And uh, even if you spent money, um, even if you wanted to spend money, the packs were super rare to get. So if you got the actual packs, you could, I think you could only buy a few. And even then, it was like kind of hard to get the actual offer to pop up. But yeah, I got level 5. Uh, and then once they did get released, everyone else got to level 5, which I guess is kind of cool. Especially if you didn't have them. It was always nice to see that. Okay, so this one is I want to answer. Uh, how come you call your channel Beats PH? So firstly, I talked about the Beats part. Uh, Beats is because I was thinking of a name to make on PlayStation uh, like years ago. And then during literally, a da I think I was called Sequence. I think I was called Sequence before. It's just, it's, it's really bad. Uh, but literally when I was making my account, my Beats that I ordered for like, you know, Dr. Dre Beats, I ordered did come in the mail. So uh, I literally just called myself Beats. But I put two Zs. That was cringy. I took it afterwards. Uh, the, the PH is uh, supposed to be Phone Destroyer. But I messed up the H and put it, well, I messed up the D and put a H. And uh, now it kind of means Philippines, which I get, I always get asked that. Uh, it also means Phone Hub. I don't know. Uh, what do you think needs to be changed the most in South Park Phone Destroyer right now? Uh, I would have said uh, change Chaos Matchmaking back to normal, which they now have done. So that's always a good thing. Uh, but also, I think now, probably going to make an own video about it is uh, the, the battle pass system. It's absolute trash. Someone did leave a comment. I'll, I'll show you later on. But um, the fact that you have to get 350 phones in 27 days is kind of too much or like even a month. Like people have things to do, right? Uh, normally on the old battle pass system, granted it was a lot longer. And I, I think if they left the tokens how it was, so you could get tokens each day and uh, do like, you know, get, get tokens from the end of season pack, get, get tokens from events, get tokens from a... Uh, Challenger mode, get total well, chaos mode, get tokens from the actual team was pack, but they left it at 30 days, and uh, you know the actual battle, the battle pass system how it is now. I think I prefer that. But um, the destroying phones is absolutely horrific. I hate it. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's horrible. Uh, can you tell us the best way to stay free to play friendly and still upgrade cards? Uh, yeah, uh, save enough cash to buy the battle pass, and then when you buy the battle pass, uh, finish the battle pass, get all the rewards, and then uh, try to get to Legend Arena. Uh, I'm not really sure what rank you have to be to get the, enough cash for it. But I think I get around 500 cash each time the Legendary Reader does finish. Which means I can just buy the Battle Pass for free pretty much. Uh, what is your favorite fantasy card? Uh, probably Witch Garrison or Gizmo Ike. Oh, no, I keep saying Gizmo Ike. CK Ike. Yeah, probably CK Ike. Uh, what would you do in game in order to eliminate the rankers? Uh, or either beat them or give them the bastard fart and then leave the game. Uh, what is the most important Legendary card to level up? Uh, I talk, I I made like, like I probably ran it for like two minutes when I did the original video. Uh, but probably standing many moons. He is uh kind of on. I mean, most cards are kind of unusable at a low level. But uh, once he gets level three or level four, that ability does so much damage. You have to remove him. Uh, if I see like a level two, I probably just want to kill him. Uh, yeah, probably standing many moons. Probably getting quite early, so why not? Uh, it was starting your channel hard. Thinking of doing it on my own. Uh, no. Uh, once again, I have a brother who does the same thing, and it's no like coincidence that both of us kind of have some success in our own rights. Um, just upload daily. Uh, like I said, I think I said it in this video, maybe the other video. Uh, I start uploading daily for like the past two, three months now, and my channel has doubled. Uh, granted, when I first started, my uh, confidence in talking was kind of bad, so you kind of get used to it. Um, you kind of got to grow on one game. If you're doing via uh, like you know a lot of content. Um, it's kind of hard because, like, you know, there's so many different games. Like, even now, me trying to grow on Grand Cross is quite difficult because I'm also uploading South Park at the same time. I think I'll probably be quite successful on, uh, well, not quite successful. It's kind of debatable, right? Um, uh, but, you know, if I if I only upload Grand Cross, I'll probably get quite decent views on Grand Cross uh, and grow an audience there. Still kind of am. If you're watching from Grand Cross, hello. Because uh, this isn't really related to South Park, but I guess most of the questions are from South Park. Uh, but, yeah, uh, just just... You know, be good at what you do. That That's kind of subjective, right? Uh, be funny, you know, create good content and uh, kind of upload daily. That's probably my best advice. Uh, question, do you have a girlfriend? No, uh, I upload twice a day. Uh, and trying to, like, upload twice a day and ha playing games is kind of too much for me. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, why do you always upload your TVT matches after the war? I think it's more interesting and helpful if you upload them on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, why? I'm kind of lazy and I don't play 
until Sunday night. Granted, I did upload one this week like on Sunday. That's because I knew the new card was going to get revealed on Monday, which is why I did it. So unless I know a new card's come in, I'm not going to upload it. Because Monday's quite boring, right? We only get a developer update in South Park. And, uh, you know, Mon Saturday and Sunday, even Friday, we can do a bunch of cards, a bunch of showcases, because a bunch of cards have been boosted. And, uh, yeah, it's probably why. Plus, I like to put the, uh, what's it, the actual pack opening at the end. Because sometimes the battle, like, what's it, the de developer updates are quite bad on Monday. So, it's not really worth talking about it. And also, I don't really want to upload one video of me uploading a three-minute clip of opening a pack. I find it kind of pointless. I know some South Park users do it. I'm not roasting them. Just saying, I prefer that. Slum Dank uh, uploaded, uh, who are your favorite content creators at the moment and why? Uh, I'm the UK. Well, I'm from the UK, so probably KSI and Sidemen. Uh, I kind of like to watch them. Uh, Jack me. Just, yeah, they're kind of the English lads, to be fair. Like, I'm English, right? Like, I kind of want to watch them. That being said, uh, Fall Guys is back out, so I'm kind of watching KR Speedy and the crew again. They're fun to watch. And, uh, I mean, I had work with them, or I worked with them once, so I always like watching their videos. Uh, what is the highest boost you've gotten the queue up to? Uh, once again, if uh, what is the highest boost you've gotten the queue up to? I think like 370, probably 370. If Gizm Wike was in the superior theme, then that'd probably be up to 1k. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the comment I was talking about earlier. Uh, and but is too. I want the old battle pass back. Yes, yeah, so do I. It's it sucks. Uh, do you think there'll be another legendary in who do you think it is? Uh, once again, I kind of went over that one already. Uh, yeah, probably gonna get one for each theme again. Uh, I think safe to say, Bottas is gonna get one. Probably Craig. No, is it Clyde? Who's not got one? Clyde? I think Clyde's not got one. Yes, Clyde. Uh, I mean, God forbid we get a legendary doggy, but that could be a thing. Uh, the one asked, what is your favorite card and why? I think I've already talked about it, but definitely Mysterion and why? Because he's my first level four. Uh, Mysterion, probably my favorite character out of the whole South Park series. So, I mean, that's pretty much self. It's pretty much there. Uh, what do you think the best card is? Best card in South Park? Probably DAR right now. Uh, either that or Bradley. Uh, what do you think of a horror theme? Uh, what card would you want in it? Uh, obviously, if you're going to get a horror theme, you kind of want to have, uh, you know, all the kids and Randy's and stuff dressed up as horror characters. But I think if we're going to do that, they won't do that because copyright. Uh, if they start dressing up as Jason, they start dressing up as like Freddy Krueger, uh, all the iconic uh, horror characters. Pennywise, for example, it, it it just it wouldn't work, right? They're going to get sued. Do you think Red Link's probably released a new theme? And uh, what theme do you think it will be? Uh, maybe because it's a good way to make money. Um and would they actually make a whole new theme just to release one like how, like how uh, Adventure was? Uh, well, I guess other themes that are not superhero or fantasy. Uh, kind of like created by itself. Uh, they could. I mean, why not? I guess uh, my only prediction would be if they release a new Star Park game which has new characters in it. Like new costumes for the older gang. Uh, then maybe they could do it then. Okay, uh, that's wrapped up the video. So, well, I mean the Q&A part. Took a while. I think... Uh, when I did it first time, it took around 30 minutes, so I, I cut 10 minutes off it by not reading people's names and stuff like that. But we're going to do a little tour of the setup. Granted, I have to speak into the actual audio, and uh, the actual camera will be a bit weird. Okay, so it's going to be weird because I'm talking right here into the mic. Uh, but yeah, here is my uh, Asta toy. It's kind of sick. Got that for my birthday. Uh, this is the massive screen I use. Need to get a new one. Not really the best. But here is the PC. You can see it right there. Should probably move the water bottles. Uh, but it, it's a Razer one. It's sick. Uh, not the best RGB. You can see I only have two things. And I guess the case is RGB itself. Uh, I need to get some more wires to get RGB strips. I did buy them. I just didn't put them up. And um, the graphics card, you can't see it. It's right there. Uh, I didn't get RGB with it because they weren't available. And I kind of wanted to build a PC as soon as I could. But yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a, what's it? GTX RS, GTX 2070 Super. Uh, 16 gig RAM. Uh, Intel i7, 700k, I think what it is. A pretty beastly lad. Uh, here is my Switch that I play Pokemon on. Uh, controller. Uh, here's the posters. I want to get more posters, but... Um... Oh, wait, can you see that? It doesn't move. No, it doesn't really show it. Uh, it kind of does. Yeah, I want to get more posters. I kind of really wanted the Mysterium poster they gave away once, but yeah, it's uh, wasn't really a thing. And then this bad boy over here, it's not a monitor. It's actually a drawing tablet that I spent £900 for. And uh, essentially, right, um, if I click here, uh, that's, a that's the thumbnail I made earlier today. I yeah, you can pretty much see, right? Let me just make sure. I might make a video of playing South Park because I can. But, uh, okay, wait. I'm not sure how the audio sounds. But, uh, yeah, you pretty much just click and draw and you can kind of draw it what you want. Uh, yeah, it's a drawing tablet, right? You can control like this. It basically acts like another mono. It's pretty sick. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, that is going to probably wrap it up.
Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm tying the hair back, but yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Let me just do this. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the face reveal. Don't roast me too much in the comments. Uh, I'm grateful for everyone who's actually like, you know, wanted to see my face. I didn't think it would be a big deal, but uh, a lot of people made, did make a big deal, comment every day. Uh, they couldn't wait for it. Hopefully I didn't disappoint. Anyway, I want to say thank you uh, for 5k subs as well and Slum, Slum Dank uh, for actually giving me the actual idea on uh, Twitter to do the Q&A, which uh, I guess I got a lot of comments, so it's always nice to see that. Anyway, uh, here's to another 5k more. Uh, here's to more South Park and Grand Cross or whatever game I'm doing in the future. Thank you guys for watching and peace.